Hi YouTube, um, you might have seen a couple of my other videos because I've done one on fossils that I collected from Bracklesham Bay and I did another one on fossils that I've collected from Barton on Sea um, but this one is going to be about fossils from Abbey Wood um, so I was lucky enough to go on a dig with a group of experts where um, they basically hired like a mini digger and they dug down to the fossil layer and then we dug out a whole load of um, material basically and then sieved it all uh, and then we were able to take some home and go through it and these are the fossils that I found so I'll show you these drawers close up in a second. First of all I'll just show you this tub this is the um, tub of material that I collected on the day um, just to give you an idea of what the um, material looks like so this is you can see it's like all kind of shell fragments mainly so you get a lot of um, shells in here <laughs> Um, you also get like loads of shark's teeth um, and well I'll, I'll show you in detail in a minute all the different fossils that I found um, but yeah this material is very fossiliferous <laughs> it's full of fossils um, and it's going to take me a long time to go through and pick out uh, everything of interest in here there's so much in here um, and a lot of them are tiny like micro fossils but really good fun to sort through. Okay, we'll zoom in on this drawer now and I'll, I'll show you roughly what's in these. And then what I'll do, I've got a microscope, like a stereo microscope, and I've photographed quite a lot of the smaller fossils. So I'll show you them in detail at the end, but we'll go through first. So these are all shark's teeth in bags. There were absolutely hundreds of shark's teeth, uh, and I'm still sorting through, and I'll find loads more in, in the tub. But... Um, these are just the ones you know that I collected on the day on the site and then ones that I've picked through and found in the matrix as well that I brought home with me um, but you can see they're all really crisp in really good condition um, yeah really really sharp edges to them and just loads of different species some of them are quite big some of them are tiny just a millimeter or two um, and they are quite hard to spot in the matrix you have to do quite a lot of very careful searching through to find them um, these are some unidentified kind of bone fragments um, some of these I've photographed under the microscope so I'll show you in more detail later here's some more unidentified bone fragments um, who knows what these are from hopefully time will tell um, okay here's some sand shark vertebrae which are typically round and then angel shark which are more sort of oval shaped uh, this is just material that I've kind of picked out that I still need to go through and see if anything is anything there are a few sharks teeth in there that I can see straight away and then this is how I sort the shells initially so you know I, I pick out the spiral ones and separate them then the moon snails which are the ones that look more like snails um, the curly spiral bits from the middle of shells uh, and then all the sort of clam shells at the bottom so these are the spirally ones <laughs> these are the moon shells yeah these are the internal structures of like spiral shells and then that's all the clam shells you know bivalves at the bottom okay so here's some that I have sorted already so these are banded pea shells at the top they're quite distinctive because they've got little stripy pattern on them um, so yeah I really like those but they are quite small probably what four millimeters something like that at the most okay here's some um, extinct clam shells Hopefully you can all see the um, scientific names that I've put on. That might help you identify some if you're collecting from there as well. Those were auger shells. These ones I haven't identified yet. These are marsh creepers. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a while, I think, to identify everything that I've found. But I'm not in any hurry. I'll just do it over time, a bit at a time. These are a different type of marsh creeper. Um, Again, here's some internal shell structures. It's quite nice to be able to see the spiral in the middle of the shell, these broken specimens. 
and here's the actual kind of spirals that I've picked out. Um, okay, these are predation borings. So these holes that are in clam shells uh, and these other shells, these were all caused by like a little snail um, called Euspira, and it just bores a hole in like the living animal, and it sucks out all the uh, all the soft tissue <laughs> and eats it basically. Um, but these holes are very distinctive. They've got like a sort of a beveled edge to them. Okay, these are guitar fish. Um, they're also like a ray. They, you could call them a fish or a ray, but they're they're related to sharks. But these are the teeth from them, and I'll show you some close-ups of these under the microscope later. But each one of those bags has got over a hundred um, teeth in, and I've sorted them into different sizes. Okay, these are shipworm burrows they're quite tiny these things i found lots of these at Bracklesham bay but only a couple here so far from abbey wood right these are sturgeon dermal scoops um, which is just a fancy way of saying back plates really they've got good texture again i'll show you some of those under the microscope okay these are coprolites which is just a fancy name for um poo basically <laughs> just remains and I'll show you some of those under the microscope they're quite good with little bits in okay this is a um, upper palate which is just the, the teeth the upper part of the jaw and you can see all of those rounded teeth on the palate okay um, and here we it have some like um, unidentified vertebrae and extinct I found rats. quite a lot of vertebrae in here some of them I've been able to identify because they're from you know sharks and uh, rays but these ones I haven't been able to yet um, more fragments in bags I've got quite a few things that I've sorted out into bags that I, I need to then go through and identify uh, another just <laughs> tray full of bits and pieces that I've got to sort through and a little jar with bits in some of these will be shown under the microscope in a bit Okay, right, I'll stop now for a second and I'll show you some of the things under the microscope. Okay, starting with the sturgeon dermal scoots, you can see they have a very distinctive um, kind of texture to them. Then we've got the guitar fish teeth, here's a whole bunch. Here's one on its own. You can see this very kind of angular shape to them um, with this sort of notch in the bottom. Uh, and then these are dermal denticles, again from guitar fish. Uh, here's a close up of one. So these are just basically spikes that go on the back of the ray. Um, this is another tooth, I'm guessing, from another type of ray. Um, I haven't identified it yet, but it's really nice. Okay, here's a close-up of that um, RAS upper palate, and these are individual kind of teeth from those palates, and these are the underside of those teeth. Um, this, I think, might be another type of um, palate, but again, I haven't identified this one yet either. This, again, this could uh, be something that contained teeth. Uh, and then these, I think these are fish spines or spikes, but um, you can see that's the undersurface, that's the upper surface with ridges in it. That's about an inch long. Okay, those are the uh, unidentified vertebrae. Um, this was the uh, shark vertebrae. That's the side view of the same one. Uh, and then we've got the ray vertebrae, which is oval instead of round. And then these are some of the unidentified vertebrae. Um, you can see they're much more detailed. They've got sort of um, ridges and things uh, and angles to them. Uh, this is a different example, probably from the same species as the last one. Uh, and then we've got this much crisper kind of example. So some of them are water-worn, some of them are nice and crisp like this one. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but it sort of reminds me of a sort of a, an orbit you know, eye kind of socket maybe from a fish or something. Uh, right, these are some coprolites close up, the um, fossil poo. You can see like little bits in them, um, undigested remains. There's a bit of bone like, sticking out of this one. 
Um, they have this kind of general white powdery kind of look to them. Uh, and some of the smaller ones like these you can see are quite knobbly. Right, here are some shark's teeth. Um, this is the first one, two views of it. Uh, here's another one. So you can see the variations in the shapes of these. Um, and usually that means that they're different species, but sometimes uh, even in one species you can have quite a lot of different shaped teeth depending on where they are in the mouth. Uh, this I know is from a different species because it has this very uh, obvious kind of curved look to it from the side. Here's another smaller one. And again, look, with a very obvious curve to it. Okay, this next thing, I'm not sure what it is, this. I don't know if this is a tooth or what, but it's quite interesting. This, I think, potentially is a reptile tooth, and it might even be from a dwarf crocodile. I know you get those there. This I'm not sure about at all. Uh, neither this. <laughs> there are quite a few things I'm not sure what they are, but I'm sure one day I'll find out. This as well, I don't know. This is a bone fragment. Is another obvious bone fragment and I think this is just internal structure of bone where you can see all the porous holes this I'm not sure what it is but it's quite cool because it's symmetrical this is the underside of it and this is a side view of the same thing so I need to figure out what that is uh, and this again I'm not sure it could be turtle shell fragments maybe and this is the worm tube Okay, so if you like these kinds of videos, um, hit subscribe and check out my other videos. And by hitting subscribe, it just means that anything that I post in the future, you'll get to see it straight away as soon as I post it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.